There may be situations where you need to control who can see certain data in your organization. Using security filters for data server connections is one method to implement this control. Using security filters provides an easy to maintain security process protecting your organization's data. In this video, you'll see how to create a data security filter in a data module, how to use a view to enforce the filter is used, and how to prevent bypassing the filter with type ahead SQL. Here are some tips for implementing security. Consumers and authors should not have privileges to edit data modules, which would allow them to change or delete the security filters. And you can add IBM Cognos type in SQL disabled to the connection properties to prevent anyone from creating a SQL based table, which could be used to get around the security filter. And those results are illustrated in the following slide. Here you can see where someone has tried to create a table and the resulting message when type ahead is turned off. You can secure data at the row level with security filters in a data module. A security filter defines what users, groups, or roles can access a table. Security filters are limited to data delivered by a data server connection. This method does not work for uploaded data. Another video will address this. A data module based on the samples go sales HR schema is used in this video. Opening the data module, I expand the sources view, expand the tables, and I move to organization, right-clicking, selecting set data security. Over on the right-hand side now, I can see source properties. I'm gonna add a security definition, and in user and groups, I'm going to add myself and create a security filter. Selecting myself and clicking OK, I can now start to define the security filter. I can now select the column within the organization table that I want to base my filter on. I'm gonna pick the English organization name. I can now pick the organizations I want to be filtered specifically for me, and I'm gonna pick corporate. Clicking okay. I need to provide a name. And I click okay. Notice that a padlock now appears to the right of the organization table, and that's my clue that a filter has been set. Also notice, although I've made a change to the data module, I don't have to save it. The security filters are saved automatically for me. Now I'm going to create a dashboard that will use the data module. Coming down to organization and expanding the organization code, I can see the organization codes that belong just to corporate. So I can see my security filter is working. A way to ensure security filters are always used is to create views in the data module. After I create the views, I could hide the source tables. Creating the view might require you to do a bit of research to understand which tables are joined to the tables you're filtering on, and in this case, the organization. In the data module, I'm gonna click Custom Tables. I'm gonna select the employee history and organization. Clicking Next. I can now start to select the columns I want to appear in my view. So for organization, I'm going to include organization code and the English name. And for employee history, I'll use all the columns. And I can see my view has been created. If I wanted to give it a new name, I could do that through properties. Now back on the dashboard, I need to pick up the view in my data module. And the way that I do that is I go to selected sources and I relink the data module. And I can see my view is at the top. I'm gonna to create the same table by selecting employee code, position code, and organization name. And I can see that the filter has been used for this data. Coming back to the home page, I want to show you how I disabled the type ahead SQL. This might typically be done by your Cognos administrator. This is the name that was given to my data connection to the Go Sales. Connections, select the connection. Settings, edit. And you can see there's the IBM Cognos type ahead SQL disabled command. This concludes the video on how you can secure data from data source connections.
Documentation for IBM Cognos Analytics with Watson is available online. The video description below contains links for topics covered in this video. If you would like to try what was demonstrated in this video, you will find the data in the Samples folder in Team Content.